A big welcome to you, Reed One, alongside the CEO of the promotion, Scott Patrick O'Farrell. Reed One, we'll start with you. How big of a night was this for you personally and for the sport of boxing here in Singapore? I mean, it was an amazing night. Um, we had about close to 4,000 people in attendance um, to show that we are ready to take, the, to take on the world, to fight against the best in the division. I think we, we made a statement and uh, we're going to go further from, from, from here on. I'm sure you've watched the fight back already at least once. How impressed were you with your opponent from Namibia, Nathaniel Sebastian? And where do you think the fight was won and lost? Because it was a close battle. I think he's a, he's a tough competitor. Uh, he calls himself the Iron Fist. Uh, he's also got an iron wheel. He, he, he doesn't want to go down. There were a few times I rocked him. He, he just refuses to go down. Um, all, uh, all credits go to him. But, you know, the, the crowd was expecting a knockout. By the end of the day, we got a tough round decision. And um, I guess they are still quite excited, but they're also a bit nervous about it. I think I, I, I made a huge statement in the first round, rocking, rocking him with a right hand. The second round, he got it back. Then third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I believe, was mine. The seventh to the twelfth, then it was a, it was a, it was a seesaw fight. So it was tough, and people were, got to see me to dig deep and try to, and try to win. A lot of people want to know what's next for you, what's in the pipeline. Um, right now, I'm just having about two weeks rest to recover physically and mentally. And after that, I'm going to go back to training, go back to the gym to see how we can improve. Uh, we have the next fight coming up uh, early March in China. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So we're trying to finalize an opponent right now. Uh, we're trying to look for the, at least a top, top 50 opponent, somebody who, who can fight and we can bring the fight to, to him and entertain the China fans. And in April, probably in Singapore again. Can you elaborate on that for us, Scott? Yeah, Is that sure. The biggest uh, thing in the we're going to, yeah, Dalian uh, will be in, in, in first week of March. I think it's down for the 3rd of March now. Um, we was going to try and do it for the last week of February, but due to Chinese New Year, we just kind of dragged that over an e extra week. So it'll be a big fight. It'll be fighting a genuine top 50, top 60 guy in the world that's going to be a tough opponent to defend his RBO International. Then on top of that, April the 28th, we're back in Singapore. Um, it'll be a phenomenal fight. There will be potentially a world title fight on that fight. It won't be this time Mohamed Ridwan as a world title, but there will be a world title uh, on that fight. Moving forward for September in Singapore, um, you know, we're looking to get uh, uh, the chosen one here. Um, as a world title shot. So that's where we're going. We're going for this and we're also going to be putting the, the fight on on Formula One week. So it will be, it'll be the 13th of September. Uh, it'll be on a Thursday. So it's the first time it's been done in Singapore. Uh, Raw Singapore 4, sorry 5 by that time, will be uh, in conjunction with the Grand Prix on that same week. So we're expecting a big crowd, big audience, massive fight week. In fact, it won't just be fight week, it'll be fight month. You know, we've got a lot of things planned. We've got a lot of road shows around Singapore, um, a lot of TV appearances, a lot of sponsorship. Um, you know, a lot of kind of getting r the real fans of boxing the, and new fans into the, into the sport and demonstrating certain skills, um, doing Q and A's, and bringing over some quite famous, renowned um, boxers from uh, recent uh, recent history uh, to come across and do some talks and also commentate on the show. Glenn McCreary is joining us again. Uh, there's rumours that uh, you know a two-time world champion will also be coming along with him. So I'll, I'll keep you up for, uh, informed, but yeah, a lot happening. Plenty to celebrate then, and of course, plenty to anticipate. A big thank you to both the guys, Scott and Ridwan. The future looking very bright. We'll be keeping you up to date with what these guys are up to, as well as all your other combat sports updates on Fight News every Friday evening on Fox Sports Asia.